Good morning, my name's Tony Pank. Uh, I'm just about to retire from the fire service after 50 years. Started at Asfordby Street with Leicester City Fire Brigade on the 18th of August 1968. The first day I became operational after training school, I was sent covering a central station and uh, I had my first occasion of meeting somebody who had died in a car accident. Uh, at 18, it was quite horrendous. A large fire in a building uh, in Beaver Street called Waring Gillows, which was a furniture warehouse. Uh, the fire was covering what you'd call a whole block, uh, probably 70 metres long. Uh, five, six storeys high. The fire started in the upper floors. We were fighting it and it was driving us down through the building. I couldn't do anything about it. I hadn't got enough water at the time. And uh, as we were evacuating the building through an archway, uh, some one of the firefighters was screaming for us to stay in the archway. And as we did, the whole of the gable end collapsed and uh, covered an area probably 30 metres, something like that, crushing another building that was underneath it and uh, several cars and we were just left covered in dust in the uh, archway. It was like one of those jokes where everything falls down over a doorway but it wasn't very funny when we thought to yourself if we'd have walked out we'd have been dead. When I retired operationally after 32 years in the job, then went into what they called commercial training, which entailed going into factories, schools, offices, teaching people how to be fire wardens and fire marshals, also training them how to use fire extinguishers. Right, the commercial training was uh, due to finish and uh, the, the, the brigade didn't want to carry it on anymore and uh, we were offered redundancy and also the offer of going into a new development, a new department called Community Safety, which uh, I took on. This entailed going out to people's houses, uh, residential care homes and advising people about fire safety, the dangers from various aspects of fire, how to get out, uh, make sure you've got a means of escape at all times and uh, generally giving advice to the public. Shortly after that uh, they brought in the educational side of it which was actually going into schools about the dangers of fire, playing with fire, from children playing with matches to actually going into being committing arson. Fifteen years. I would think when I was a leading fireman at Central Station, uh, it was it wasn't a, a situation that uh, you could turn down. It was a, it wasn't a job. It was a way of life. Uh, there were large watches, as many as twenty one chaps, because there were all men in those days. Uh, and uh, 21 men on the watch, and it was absolutely fantastic. The education of people as far as fire safety is concerned. When I first started in the late 60s, people weren't aware of the dangers of fire, and we were getting 10, 12 calls a day at Central Station. Uh, now, they get a lot less calls, I don't know exact numbers, but people are better educated through community safety. Uh, we've actually got parents now that have gone through the school situation and they've been educated and their children are now being educated and the calls have diminished because it's not an operational led service now. It's a service that goes into the community and teaches them before they can cause any damage. 